What comes to your mind when you think of the word metaverse? Is it virtual reality or the future of the internet? We've repeatedly heard the term metaverse since Facebook became meta. The current condition of Horizon Worlds, however, proved that existence in virtuality still does not arouse passion. According to a Wall Street Journal article based on internal documents from the Mark Zuckerberg-led company, sales of the platform built for the MetaQuest virtual reality glasses aren't meeting expectations as much as they should be. So what exactly is wrong with Zuckerberg's metaverse? Let's dig into this video and find out. Many individuals consider the metaverse to be the internet's future. The term metaverse typically refers to an open-ended, limitless virtual environment a collection of worlds you can travel across and use for communication, recreation, or even work. When Facebook's CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced in October 2021 that the company would change its name to Meta and become a metaverse company, he drew a picture of an idealized future that was still many years away, in which billions of people would spend countless hours immersed in immersive digital environments, working, socializing, and playing games in virtual and augmented worlds. To the point where he renamed his company from Facebook to Meta, Zuckerberg staked his business on the notion that everyone in the world would want to spend every waking minute on the metaverse. To make Mr. Zuckerberg's idea a reality, Meta has committed billions of dollars and hired thousands of people in the intervening year. However, Meta's attempts at the metaverse have had a difficult beginning. Horizon Worlds, the company's flagship virtual reality game, is still unloved and bug-ridden prompting Meta to implement a quality lockdown for the remainder of the year while it redesigns the program. Meta's goal was to attract 500,000 active users each month to Horizon Worlds. Zuckerberg then lowers this goal to around 300,000 active users. The statistics indicate that fewer than 200,000 users routinely access the service each month. Thus, even in this case, it is failing to meet the target number. The company's virtual reality platform isn't being used by many of those few users, despite what Meta may have intended. Only 9% of the worlds in Horizon Worlds have had 50 or more visitors. But it doesn't stop there. It is also reported that users of Horizon Worlds typically stop using the app after the first month. A few Horizon Worlds users were pulled by Meta researchers on their experiences. It led to criticisms from the general public about their inability to locate virtual worlds they genuinely like or where there are other people to interact with. However, there was also criticism of the aesthetic section, particularly the absence of legs and the avatar's more lifelike expressions. The difficulty to maintain users' interest is the main issue that Horizon Worlds and Meta must deal with as they move forward with their ambitions for the metaverse. Furthermore, Meta lost billions of dollars in advertising revenue as a result of privacy modifications Apple made to its mobile operating system. Due to Apple's restrictions on app developers' ability to collect data, particularly social media apps like Facebook and Instagram, they are currently losing $10 billion annually. However, this would not have been a problem if Meta had its own mobile operating system and smartphone hardware at the time. VR currently doesn't have anything exciting or cool. Avatars aren't the only thing that is bad. A large headset, such as Meta's $400 Quest gadget, is required to enter the metaverse in the first place. Despite the fact that it is itself quite stylish, your head still houses a sizable computer, which your real-life friends and family will no doubt make fun of. Does Zuckerberg not understand how terrible his ideology of metaverse is? Now, we come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like, and for more amazing content, stay tuned.